Hi there and welcome to my channel. Continuing on with my new Halloween stamping plates, in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing two Marianne Nail stamping plates and you'll be able to find all the product information in the description box below. So with Nail Artisan being the new stockist in the UK for Marianne Nail stamping plates, when I saw that there was three Halloween plates I knew I had to get some. So I chose two, number 117, and number 131 and they are utterly gorgeous. Before I get started, don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help me out. I'll begin with number 117 and there is about 25 images on this plate and they're all really quite a big size image too. I used my Tiffany Duo stamper from Nail Artisan for these images because this was the best stamper I could work with for this plate. And with it being a clear stamper, I could get really good placement of the images. And just like any other Marianne Nail stamping plates I own, this is a really good quality plate and it's really well engraved. Another thing I noticed with this plate is that some of the images I've never seen on Halloween plates before, but it's really nice to have different images too, and not just the normal ones you would expect on a Halloween plate. So as you can see from the swatches, this plate is stamped really well and I love every one of them. Even the writing is very clear. For the Manny, I went with a glittery silver polish and just picked some random images for each nail and I love it. It's a little bit on the gothic -y side, but I would definitely do this again. Moving on to 131 and this plate has 19 images and again they're a really nice size. It also is another really good quality plate and well engraved too. This is why I love Marianne Nail stamping plates and again I use the Tiffany Duo stamper for these swatches. I found that with Marianne stamping plates, for me personally, a medium firm stamper works the best. There isn't one image I wouldn't use from this plate and it will be well used in the month of October for Halloween manis. My favourite image from this whole plate, well, I have to say I've got two actually, that's the tree, the huge tree and the witch on the broom and as you can see this plate has swatched really well I know that I'll definitely be going back for the other one for the Manny I just had a gringy green nail polish arrive and I thought it would look great for Halloween I again just chose some random images for each nail but the ring and the thumb are the same I think I should have double stamped and put a silver over the top now I'll maybe do that in future on to some live swatching and I'm going to be using my Fabi Nails XL Stamper and Scraper, my Born Pretty Black Stamping Polish and I'll just be placing them onto my Lint Roller as always. I'm also going to be using the Dixie Plate Shrinking Stamper to shrink an image as well. So I'll start with Plate 117 and I'm going to go for these three images at the top. I love this witch and these three images have swatched really well. I'm now going to swatch this image here. Personally, I think it's a little large for a nail, so shrinking would be perfect. I'll do a normal swatch first and then I'll do another one and shrink it and put them side by side so hopefully you can see the difference. This image is about one and a half centimetres from top to bottom and width wise, so it's quite large, only just fits my thumb. So now I'll shrink the image and I'll just stamp it as I would normally and then I'll just pop the head out of the holder and that's when it shrinks. So hopefully you can see how that works. It's really easy, but my only advice would be work quickly though. On to 131. So I'll go for these two images here. I adore this witch. I think she looks amazing. And of course I used her in my Manny and this has swatched really well. I'm not a fan of putting spiders on my nails. I'm a massive arachnophobic person, but this is a really cool image and it also has swatched really well. As you can see, I'm not having any problems with these two plates. They have been an absolute joy to use. And this final swatch from this tree has swatched really well. I love this tree and I use this also in my Manny as well. 
So I hope you've enjoyed my swatch and review on these two Halloween stamping plates from Marianne Nails. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then I would love it if you could. And also don't forget to come over and follow me on Instagram at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.